Welcome back to Craft to Crumbs Tech Talks. I'm your host, Joni Spencer, Editor-in-Chief of Craft to Crumb. In this episode, sponsored by Hobart, I am speaking with Carolyn Bilger, Hobart Food Machines Director of Marketing, and we are talking about all the things bakers need to know before making their next mixer purchase. Hi, Carolyn. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hi, Joni. Thanks for inviting me. Well, I just appreciate you having this conversation with me because it's something that's really important. Obviously, mixers are a critical part of any bakery operation, but also when we're talking about artisan craft and retail bakers, this is a huge investment. And I've had a lot of conversations with bakers about how long they try to extend the life of their mixer and replacing parts or repairing versus upgrading. So I think that's really where I want to start. What are the signs? What do bakers need to look out for to know it's time to upgrade their mixer versus? Yeah, well, obviously the mixer is the workhorse of a kitchen in any bakery across the globe. And we have classic mixers that have been out of production since 2007. As these mixers continue to age, there's going to be performance challenges. There's going to be operation challenges that these bakers will face. The average age of a classic mixer in market today is about 24 years old. So again, we've been around a long time. We build a quality product and our number one competitor as Hobart current brand is our old mixers. So those mixers have been around for a long time and the parts for those machines are getting more and more difficult to obtain. Some of them are still available from Hobart OEM parts and the repair costs are adding up. The average cost of a service call is $2,500. That includes your trip charge, labor hours, et cetera. It's pretty costly just for that. The cost of a downtime for a restaurant or a bakery could be anywhere up to $1,000 by the time they are not using that mixer. They're having to hand mix, for example. And if they have to do that for you know several hours a day for several weeks, that could be an additional $1,000 or on that. So you're upwards of $5,000 potentially to repair an old classic mixer. From the performance standpoint, there's factors to consider there too. Over time, gears and belts will wear in that machine, slowing that RPM speed down. It happens so slowly many times that bakers don't even realize it's happening, but they're automatically accommodating every day by adding a little bit more mix time, which again means the baker isn't doing something else. So the end product consistency could lead to dissatisfied customers. If you upgrade your mixer now as a baker, you minimize a lot of those potential issues that you could have by simply replacing over time that older mixer you have in your fleet. So there's another reason why bakers need to think about upgrading, and that is when their production changes. So business is growing, they're getting more demand, they are expanding their product mix. That's kind of a no-brainer. Like when your production increases, you need to get another mixer or new mixer. But that kind of leaves me asking, you mentioned the the legacy mixers. Mm -hmm. How can these pulp bakers sort of change or increase their production when maybe other resources can't be increased? So when we introduced the legacy mixers, in the early 2000s and the classics went away, we introduced our legacy mixers with a variable frequency drive. That's patented technology. We're the only ones that use that kind of technology in commercial retail type mixers. They're used in very large mixers and large production industrial side all the time because they help the mixer monitor its health and flex to the right amount of power, et cetera, et cetera. So the Hobart Legacy and Legacy Plus mixers actually use that same kind of technology, Joni, to provide the best mix consistency for our bakers. So this means, again, that variable frequency drive is pushing the right amount of power into the bowl every time, batch after batch, allowing that end user to get the most optimum performance out of that. When we introduced our PLUS system in 2022, that came with an enhanced drive. So we increased the motor power 
And this enhanced system allows us to get up to 30% more capacity depending upon the end user's application. So you refer to a growing or changing operation, right? They need more capacity because they need to mix more. Again, depending upon that application, and many of these are in the dough space, we're able to give the end user baker up to 30% more capacity. So we just need to look at their recipe, run it through our calculator and help them determine which mixer it is that they need within our fleet. Along with that increased drive system, we strengthened the planetary shaft. And then the overall motor and drive system are protected by an overheating type system that has more robust internal components that protect that machine so that if it is overworking, it'll keep the motor from being damaged in the long run so that you're getting your best production on a regular basis. That just really helps, I think, the baker understand that they've got some additional features to talk about. But absolutely, when they're looking to upgrade or they're changing their production, they really need to look at considering maybe a little bit bigger mixer than they would need for their current production, right? Oftentimes, we get users that will buy just the mixer for what they're doing right now, not thinking long-term. So those are some of the things to consider as well. You know, I think that is a lesson in the baking industry. A lot of bakers learned when supply chain disruption happened mm -hmm. that we can't think about where are we going to be in the future because we can't wait until we're there and then try to deal with it because the resources might not be available. Right. Exactly, exactly. Some of the other features, Joni, that a baker might consider when they're looking at upgrading and considering the Hobart legacy. I mentioned the variable frequency drive and the soft start. We also have a shift on the fly so they can adjust their speeds easily without worrying about having to stop the machine in between. But the other one that's pretty big, and this is on large machines, 60 quart and above, is an exclusive feature we call fast stop, which brings that whole planetary motion to a full stop in three seconds. Seconds. Those machines are big. They're moving quickly. There's a lot of activity going on in a bakery. So having that peace of mind that that planetary is going to stop in three seconds is really a benefit to folks that are in large production kind of kitchens. But again, that variable frequency drive allows us to do that. We have some other ease of use features like swing out bowls so that they can easily swing out from the bowl, get it onto a bowl truck, roll that bowl truck from the machine over to the bench to be able to move the dough or the batters out easily. Our quick release agitators come with a quick release on and off plunger. The thing about that quick release agitator that does matter is there's a pin that actually attaches into the shaft so that bowl to agitator ratio stays consistent, which is actually improving your kneading action in the bowl and driving a better gluten development more consistently over time. And that just helps to be sure that the end product, again, is the hero when it comes out of the bakery. Okay. So there's one other thing that I want to talk about, and this is something that I don't really think comes up a lot in conversations about mixer design, and that's food safety. We don't hear about this when talking about the design of the mixer bowl, but Hobart's developed a new finish that is really contributing to food safety. Can you talk a little bit about that? I would love to. So obviously all of our bowls, bowl guards, agitators, they're all removable. So they're easy to clean. The body of most mixers in the United States today are cast iron. And then that cast iron is painted. You can do either a wet paint system or a powder coat system. Hobart utilizes a powder coat system, which is more durable and it allows for a stronger adhesion of that paint to the cast iron materials. However, chipping is still going to occur because the chips happen from impact whether it is the agitator hitting the planetary over and over, or a bowl truck hitting the feet, or the bowl going onto the yolk, it is just an inherent challenge as a manufacturer when it comes to paint. So we have focused at Hobart very diligently in trying to minimize the food zone area. So this new machine, 
Uh, we're starting with our 60 quarts and it will begin to roll into production in the fall of 2024. So right now in the fall, and it will be a package that we're calling the no chip max package. And so what that does, Joni, is incorporate an aluminum planetary, which is heat treated and has a burnished finish that's corrosion and scratch resistant. So that planetary will no longer be painted. So over the food zone of the mixer itself, we'll have this new aluminum planetary. And we're also incorporating a stainless steel insert and die cast cover to the hub area. So those areas over the food zone are basically minimizing that risk of any kind of chipping going into the food. That's awesome. Carolyn, listen, I love this conversation <laughs> because bakers, you know, they're trying to run their business. The retail and artisan bakers are just, they're trying to run their business. They're often shorthanded. They're focused on getting their product made and into the case. We have identified a lot of things that bakers need to think about in terms of the state of their mixer. And this is so important. So I'm really glad that we've sort of uncovered these yeah. thought points. Well, again, I really appreciate spending the time and asking us and wanting to learn more so that we can share more information with bakers. There's lots of resources, Joni, that folks can go to find information about all of this. Obviously, visiting our Hobart website, hobartcorp.com, has a great deal of information for the features we discussed today and others that can really help the baker be more productive, save time, minimize their downtime in the bakery itself. I encourage everyone to take a moment and jump on our website and learn a little bit more. Absolutely. This is so cool. Carolyn, thank you so much. Hobart has come such a long way in developing technology for mixers. And I think that you are ready to take bakers into the future with, with this latest technology. So thanks so much for sharing all thank of this. You. You're welcome. Thanks again for your time.